I recently built this Japanese style uh, plane using an old uh, bench plane uh, iron that I had in uh, in my drawer for the longest time along with the chip breaker and just a wedge. Now I can get some pretty fine shavings with this but the, the uh, part that I didn't like about it is the, the constant adjusting of the blade by tapping it with the hammer. So I, I, I do like this. I, I will continue to use it. Um, it works really well. So the other thing that I made or want to make is a uh, Veritas style uh, wooden hand plane using their kit which has a Norris style adjuster and uh, it comes with everything you need including the blade and the one thing I will tell you that this blade that I had came out of an old Stanley I believe it was just a just a shade over 80 thousandths thick the blade that comes with the Veritas is a full eighth inch thick so that will be uh, that will uh, help cut down on the on the chatter and the um, vibration which I, I did I did have a little bit of a little bit of that with this plane until I used the chip breaker and then a thinner wedge I was using just the blade but that that wasn't enough mass in there I don't think to uh, stop all that so Anyway, the, 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 this is the blade that came. I've got two kits. I'm going to make two uh, planes, obviously. I'm going I'm to make one for me and one for my son. Um, uh, when I open this up, uh, they're telling me that no honing is necessary on the back of the blade. Um, and I just want to show you the difference here from a, kind of a before and after. This is, this is the one that I took and uh, I did hone the back so you can see here and I also put a new uh, bevel on it this thing is extremely sharp but you can see that mirror image on there I get the camera there right like that and so uh, this is the blade as it comes from their factory it's got a little bit of an oil coating on it which I would remove but you can see the back has got this matte finish on it and it does have a micro bevel on it but that thing is that thing would need to be reworked for sure so I'm going to clean this one up alright here she is cleaned up uh, you can see that the the back has still got that matte finish to it um, but the front cleans up pretty really nicely and uh, you can now see that they're the bevel they put on there this blade is sharp, but it's not as sharp as uh, the one I have. So they tell me that this, in the in the directions, this this is not necessary to uh, flatten this back any more than than what I what what was done to it from the factory. Um, it will make no difference in the uh, quality of the shaving or the the uh, effect the effectiveness of the blade so I'm gonna leave the back alone on this one I will uh, I will put another bevel on it though and uh, then we'll go from there so be a good way to uh, compare uh, the effectiveness of the cutting edge once I get once I get it, uh, both planes made here so let me lay this one out I'll show you all those steps uh, let me get things organized here. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to use my uh, plane that I made originally here as kind of a, a way to locate uh, the blade opening. Um, I know that when I when I shape this one, I'm going to want uh, to round this back over a little bit more. But I think that still there's enough room to do that. I'm just going to edge it up here a little bit. I'll we'll say right about there. You can see that that gives me uh, plenty of room up front here. It'll actually be a little bit longer if I keep the full length. 
So I'm going to I'm going to kind of start there, make a little pencil mark here. And then from there I'll I'll draw my lines. So you can see from the instructions here the layout that they want you to do. A 45 degree line for the uh bevel cut for the the uh where your plane will sit. Then the the uh, removal of the waste on the front piece for um, when your chips come through, I guess. Just some clearance there. So I'm the most critical thing is to locate that 45 degree cut. I'll lay that out, make that cut, and then come back and show you what I have.